Yes. You can get anything, you donate a little bit of blood. Hey, that's right. <laughs> we need the blood. That's we need very to, true. We definitely need to do our part with that. And you have to introduce us to I know. This, this is Rigby. Pup. This is awesome. How <laughs> cute is this dog? That's a the ears, right there. the fluff. The eyebrows, I mean, come on, does it get a cuter? I mean, yeah, that's a Monday mood right there. We <laughs> need you, Rigby. And the little tongue that sticks out. It's so cute. Rigby, you're adorable. This is Joe Romanelli's dog. And if you are planning on taking the dog for a walk today, you might want to have that umbrella. And if your dog's anything like my dog, Colby, probably not going to enjoy the uh, really wet weather that's out there. So on and off rain will be fairly likely today. Only good thing about the rain, I guess, is it's going to keep our temperatures in the upper 70s, maybe a few low 80s. But for the most part, I think we are going to stay in the 70s today. Happy Monday, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. We are off to a rainy morning here in Lawrence County. It looks like we're dry. You're looking live on top of the Fred Roberts building, of course. However, that's not the case for all of us. You can see here on live radar, plenty of rain to go around in places like Crisp and Dooley, Wilcox, Pulaski, Dodge County, some heavier downpours as well. Notice the direction all this is moving. Typically from the south, you have a few showers rolling inland off the Atlantic coast. So yes, we're pulling in a lot of Gulf and Atlantic moisture. It's all out ahead of a very large weather system, the origin of it all the way up in Canada that's starting to push into parts of the plains and then eventually will make its way off to the east, bringing us this trailing cold front. Now, obviously up in Canada, there's some really cold air up there and all of that is going to spill in behind our cold front and bring us a taste of fall. Our weather is literally going to do a 180 as we head into the second half of the week. So we're going to take you through it all today. Very rainy. You're going to want to have that umbrella or a raincoat with you for all of you heading out to work and school for the start of this week by one o'clock. So time a lot of students will be getting ready to head home from school. You might be running into some rain at the bus stop both this morning and for that ride home. Same for all of you heading out the door for work later this evening. Here's five o'clock. A few heavier downpours will also be possible as we simply just have a lot of moisture to work with. It's all again getting pumped in from the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. Now Tuesday tomorrow a little bit drier. It does look like the morning we should be mainly dry, but as we head into the afternoon hours and we start to heat up, our atmosphere will take advantage of all the moisture we have to offer and bring us a fairly widespread rain chance. Tomorrow just looks a touch drier. Now here comes that cold front along this storms, rain, some very heavy rain at that. The good news is as we head into five o'clock as this front pushes through, while we will have the chance for some thunderstorms, maybe a strong storm or two, we don't look to quite have the ingredients needed for an organized severe threat, but behind that, a taste of fall. Take a look at the temperatures as we head past Wednesday. We'll be in the 70s, but most importantly, that humidity is going to plummet. We'll be in the 70s dew point wise, and then we're going to be super comfortable as we head into the end of the week with dew points in the 40s and 50s with temperatures in the 50s to match that for the morning. Your seven day looks like this rainy and stormy the next few days, but then that taste of fall returns Thursday and we'll stay super comfortable and dry Thursday through Sunday.